Welcome back to my channel everyone, Sweet Tips here. And I was not going to make a video of this, but it uh, just looks so neat the way the uh, pieces of sterling silver were dissolving into the uh, molten carrot gold that I decided to go ahead and produce this short video about that process. This is about uh, 240 grams of 14K scrap carat gold being imported with about 300 grams of sterling silver. Here I brought in the oxyacetylene torch to uh, speed the melt up a little bit. I've got two map gas torches. Their flames are about 3,800 degrees Fahrenheit, but the oxyacetylene flame is about 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And so uh, adding that additional flame will speed the process. Now here I'm gonna pick up a graphite rod and preheat it in the flame there. And then we're gonna stir the, uh, the metals to produce a nice uniform alloy. With this much gold, I uh, stirred the alloy for maybe about a minute and a half or so, maybe as long as two minutes to ensure that we've got a good homogenized alloy of uh, silver and carrot gold. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take the map gas torches away and we're going to uh, pour the molten metal now into some water to form granules. The amount of alloy that I'm working with here is going to produce about seven or seven and a half ounces of pure gold. And I had to do the inquartation in two batches because uh, the capacity of the melt dish there was not large enough to support over two pounds of metal that would be in there if I mixed all the carrots together. So here I'm doing the 14k and then later on we'll do the other uh, carrots separately. Here you'll notice that the uh, gold kind of clumped together. I should have uh, put some ice in there and that would have helped prevent that. We've got about 150 grams of 10K gold here. And I've got about uh, 50 grams of 18K here. We'll start this up. Here I've weighed out the appropriate amount of sterling silver for uh, the amount of carrot gold that I have in the melt dish. And all those long curly pieces of sterling silver uh, come from the knives that I had saved up. I spent two days peeling the silver, the sterling silver off the handles of some knives from some sterling silver sets that I had bought. And I had saved those knives up and that's what you see in there. They, the little curly pieces are the peeled off sterling silver from those knives. Here I noticed there was a piece of red hot metal 
like a spring out of an earring or something that floated to the top and I uh, removed it from the melt. It's probably not gold. I've been getting some comments in the comment section about uh, questions as to why I choose to use sterling silver here to import the gold and the reason I use sterling silver is because I refine silver and the first step in silver re refining is to dissolve it in hot dilute nitric so I'm killing two birds with one stone here Here we go. I'm going to pour the molten metal now, just like before, onto a wooden slab that's been soaked in water to try to form some granules in the uh, metal container of water. Okay, we're going to pour out the tap water now, get our gold. All right, here's our encorded gold, uh, encorded with silver, down around 26, 27 percent pure gold. And uh, you can see it came out in one big chunk there. That's okay. It'll come apart when we put it in the uh, hot dilute nitric acid and start pulling all that silver back out of there. This should uh, yield me about seven troy ounces of pure gold in this refining. I'm not going to show the rest of the refining. Everyone's already seen how it's done. I just wanted to uh, capture the footage of the uh, metals melting in the melt dish out there. That's quite remarkable. When I added the silver to the carrot gold to encord it and that's what this video uh, is mainly about just that inquartation process and I've got uh, part two of the jewelers waste low-grade floor sweeps in progress I just need to get out there and get it finished up and that'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching.